Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Renault Civic. The suspension on Renault cars is usually strong, even if they are created on a Japanese platform. Their orientation also affects the countries of the third world. On the Scenic 2, the suspension is strong but not permanent. By 200 plus mileage, the chances of rear spring breakage increase, and shock absorbers usually already ask for replacement. The silent locks of the rear beam and front levers, as well as the front strut supports, can travel 100 150,000. More often, only the stabilizer struts and rear shock absorber bushings change. All of these items are inexpensive. The main thing is that the car is not overloaded and driven off-road because the suspension is still light and well loaded with a heavy body. The steering rack here is electrically powered and knocks quite often. The reason is simple. The side bushings are broken. The simplest solution is to deliver from BMB under the number ZF 7820023188. True, they are short and wear out faster than the original ones, so the resource before replacement will no longer be 80, 100,000 but less. Ideally cut elongated bushings from caprolon or similar material, they should wear less. But given the ease of replacement, you do not even need to remove the rail from the car. You can do with ZF. The EUR mechanism on the car is quite capricious. Failures due to a torque sensor error are rare, but the position sensor makes a full the calibration preset flies, the control unit is capricious due to power failures, low voltage or bad connectors. Again, dealer scanners or their copies are extremely useful in this situation. The cars are only front-wheel drive and the motors are mostly not very powerful diesel engines. True, real runs can be very over 300, so complaints about CV joints do not surprise you. In the end, the cars should change 200 more at the time of import to Russia, and how many dashed off in another 10 years. The CV joints are in sale separately, and the drive assemblies are available for quite reasonable amount from decent manufacturers. It's not at all necessary to buy the original for $800. In addition, it's worth paying attention to the right-hand drive suspension battery. In many cases, it's simply forgotten, but it makes noise and accumulates backlash. The most common manual gearboxes for Scenic 2 are GH3 and JR5, in theory with powerful versions of 1.9 and 2.0 diesels, a 6-speed PF6 was installed, but in practice it can be found only if the owner himself was confused with such tuning. Renault's mechanical gearboxes are far from ideal, and besides the company is frankly tossing to supply the gearbox with a torque margin. So the stronger JR5 meets only with Gasline 2.0 and with diesel engines more powerful than 100 forces. The rest is a very weak JH3. If JR5 was everywhere, then there would be less problems with couplings, differential and bearings. Of the breakdowns, first of all a loose drive, zero cables and a gradual wear of the synchronizers of the second and fourth gears, which manifests itself closer to 200,000 mileage. Threaten. The flywheels of most engines are ordinary, only the supercharged gasoline 2.0 and diesel 1.9 and 2.2 got a dual mass one, so if you change the disc and basket in time, then there is no particular trouble. The release is reliable, the drive rarely fails and mainly with runs of more than 300,000 and never changeable fluid. The only automatic transmission option is the infamous DPO, aka AL4. On Scenic it's found only in combination with 1.6 and 2.0 gasoline engines. There are not so few of them, but the choice will be very limited. Despite the notorious this box at the moment is not a reason to refuse to buy a car. It's enough to remember a few simple rules. First, monitor the temperature of the automatic transmission. If it's stable about 100-110 degrees during your operation mode, then you need to mount an external radiator, for which you need to put an adapter plate from duster. Second, monitor the purity of the oil, or it's better to just change it to every 3000 and install an external filter at the same time. Despite the four-step nature, the box is very loaded with the blocking lining of the gas turbine engine and the solenoids. At the same time, the solenoids wear out quickly and their operating range is small. And the third thing, do not delay repairs if there are no problems. This box is relatively simple and inexpensive to repair, but source cannot be started. Yes, it knows how to drive to the last, since the design is simple and while the oil pump is alive and the drive package is still pulling, the box will run at maximum pressure, 
but if it's skated in emergency mode, then chances are good that it will be easier to take a used unit for restoration. Because the tile clogged internal filter and the thermal sensitivity of the valve body plate, solenoids and pistons will leave the box without pressure with burned bags and a dead oil pump. A tight arrangement with access to the motors through a narrow slot severely degrades the quality of service and makes diagnostics difficult. This allows a typical for minivans and there is nothing to be done. The cost of disassembling the front end in case of any serious troubles should be kept in mind. And of course, we must remember about the mediocre quality of the electrics of these machines. It's the engine compartment wiring that suffers most from dirt temperature and engine's disdain for consistency and ease of maintenance. This is the rare case when there are so few gasoline engines and they are so commonplace that it makes no sense to describe them. Engines 1.6 and 2.0 are well-known pair from K4M and F4R, two all domestic renowned brands. They were installed on Logan, Duster, Second, Megan and many more cars. They are sturdy, resourceful and simple. Their problems are age, maintenance, leaks, vibrations, wiring and a lot of small things. Basically, you need to monitor the coils, throttle, damper, pulley, oil leaks along the sump and oil seals, the integrity of the intake manifold and plastic pipes, and they will cover their 300,000 km and in the taxi and highway mode and all 500 without any problems. The only pity is that the fuel consumption is high. With a 2 liter engine in the city, it stably keeps around 12 filter liters, and with the automatic transmission there will be all 15 liters per 100. 1.6 while being a little more economical. This is largely due not only to archaic nature of the motors, but also to the high gear ratios. As a family minivan which was supposed to be operated with a large load, the Scenic had to be quite high torque. In low volume aspired engines this is difficult, so they try, try to compensate for a natural lack of momentum with the transmission. Of the diesel engines, the Scenic 2 is mainly found in the 1.5 liter K9K and mainly 105, 105 and 110 horsepower with Siemens fuel requirement. Such versions are definitely better in terms of resource and serviceability than less powerful versions of the same diesel engine with Delphi fuel equipment. The biggest problem with this motor is the baddened liners. It really doesn't like high load at low speeds and almost everyone makes this mistake. Moreover, the oil is poured thin and after 100,000 mileage the wear of the oil pump is rather the rule than the exception and they change the oil more than once every 7-8 thousand, it's good if every 15. The knock of the liners is perfectly masked by the noise of a diesel engine, so a punctured block and a battered knee is a very common scenario. With the minimum of maintenance and understanding of the process, this could have been avoided, but it's better to change the liners every 1000 runs. This guarantees no problem. Fortunately, the operation on this motor is not very expensive. The rest of the troubles are not so serious. The EGR corrugation breaks, the pulleys break, the particulate filters and catalysts are very clogged. A low power engine cannot blow them out. The injectors stick to it if they do not do prophylaxis and do not change the O-rings. The fuel system is extremely sensitive to the purity of diesel fuel, lacks good filters and their frequent replacement, and it's better with a fine filter than a factory one. This is especially important for cars with Delphi fuel, where the peculiarities of the supply of injectors with a short circuit return that doesn't pass through the main filter even with a single contamination pose that spread to a complete failure on the fuel equipment due to clogging it with fair products of the injection pump. But Simmons Piazzo injectors are strong and quite resourceful here, since the motor is not hot and the main problem of ceramics is precisely overheating and degradation of the working element. The resource over the turbine is moderate. After 150,000, backlash, coking and cracks of fever are possible, but it itself is inexpensive. You can buy a new one even cheaper than 30,000 rubles and sometimes even for 1215. The most successful turbine is on the 734th engine, but on the 732 it runs strictly less than 200,000, whatever the owner does. It's not difficult to recognize the type of fuel equipment. The systems have different lines for the return line, different filters and the pump itself. In addition, you can simply look at the mark markings on the injectors and the high-pressure fuel pump. Respectively, there should be either Simmons or Delphi. 
It's not worth demonizing Delphi, but its fuel supply is definitely more problematic. Moreover, it also has pluses. The components are much cheaper and provided that the nozzles are flushed every 30,000 and the injection pump is flushed every 50-60,000, the Delphi equipment can last up to 300-400 thousand mileage. In addition, the problems are clearly visible. Due to wear of the check valve, the motor starts up very badly after half an hour of inactivity. This is the main sign of trouble. But given the age of the car when buying such primitive diagnostics as cold and hot start, you should not be limited. It's better to find a dealer scanner to control pressure, nozzle operation, no environmental errors and similar troubles. The strong and powerful 1.9 F9Q diesel is extremely rare and expensive. Bosch fuel equipment is not much more reliable than Siemens and the engine also has problems with liners and fuel. The high pressure fuel pump leaks geometry of the turbine sour, more often in your wedges. And what is unpleasant there is a very delicate oil pump here that doesn't like dirty oil and long drain intervals. As a result, there are also problems with the resource of the connecting rod bearings, although they run longer on average. It will be necessary to monitor the oil pressure for two reasons. On this information, both the problems of Renault Scenic is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.